long pull round. There it is. <laughs> Happy days. We're just getting straight on with it. Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I'm on the River Hull and I've actually drawn peg number three at Ticton and I'm right underneath the road bridge, believe it or not. Don't know what it is about me and bridges but I can't seem to get away from them at the moment. Right, I've got a few issues with the cameras. Um, one of them won't get any charge in it so I don't know whether I'll get any footage from that but I'll try and get it powered up later in the match. Um, yeah, I've really not got time to do any kind of uh, going over the rigs today we we're about four minutes out from the all-in but this is primarily roach fishing um, I'm going to be fishing a 13 metre pole I've set three rigs up a one and a half gram float a three gram float they're both round bodied Daiwa carpers uh, all shotted with olivets and I've also got a five gram Colnick Ray the reason for the variety of floats is basically the river is backing up at this moment in time and at about 10 past one it's going to start running back down towards Hull which is to my right so it's actually flowing in the wrong direction at this moment in time the flow is going to vary throughout the course of the day I have no idea you know which rig I'm going to need at what time contemplating putting my feed in I've got some very very heavy ground bait um, but I've got to consider where I'm going to throw that because obviously the flow is going right to left at the moment so some bait's going to spread up to my left and then later in the day it's going to start washing back down to the right so I'm thinking just out where the uh, boat is, fantastic name, the Serial Tiller. Um, I'm going to put six balls of ground bait on a 13 metre line and then we can fish back up in front of me and, uh, and then later in the day hopefully just trot down a little bit beyond that. So that's the plan for the pool. I've also set up a stick float, it's a light 3x4 Pete Warren stick and uh, that's just for fishing basically off the end of the rod on the inside. If you didn't see the video I did uh, back down in the shipyard at Beverly which was entitled give them some stick and it was actually river hole fishing so just go and search it out uh, or I'll put a link to it up here somewhere and you can go and watch it after this one and you can see what I did on the stick that day earlier in March 22. Finally I've set up a little whip rig it's a 0.4 gram it's to fish over the same line as the stick but just in case the fish come right on top of my rod end I think it'll be easier catching those fish on the whip and again I kind of learnt that lesson back in March when I fished down in the Beverly shipyard. I'm only going to lose feed on that line, it's just going to be hemp and casters, maybe some maggots, we'll see how it goes. Right guys, remember, if you enjoy the videos, give them a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. I'm two minutes out from the all in, I'm going to get settled in, get ready to go. Right guys, that's time, so I'm going to... Uh, just put this rig out into position so the tide's coming up so we're gonna to have to try and gauge exactly what depth we're fishing at today it's a fairly windy day as well I'll just pick the three gram rig up for now I'm just gonna drop it in position get an idea of where I want to put these balls in and then fish over them. So I'm just getting an idea of how, how hard it's towing right now. It's fairly towing off. When I started plumbing this up earlier it was uh, quite easily fished on the one and a half gram rig. So it's really starting to pull up to my left at the moment. gonna have to watch the parapet <laughs> it's a little bit awkward in here so I'm actually gonna start on the stick Let's see what we can tempt in see only baits today are casters 
hemp seed, red maggots. We've got a bit of worm if uh, I think a few skimmers turn up and maybe we just need to spur the peg into feeding but hopefully we shouldn't have to. So I'm just going to fish hemp and caster down here on the inside. It really is quite clear the water. So I've got around five to six foot of depth just off the end of the rod which is quite nice probably around about nine foot on the pole lines it's not overly deep but obviously that will change throughout the course of the match and that's a bite straight away on the inside nice little fish on, on the stick That's a cracking start. That's why I'm not neglecting the inside line. And that's another one. So already we've got a few roach queuing up. Lovely. Taste that one. almost immediately they're almost coming straight up to this bait small perch oh no it's a roach right, I'm going to move on to the maggot this hook bait but keep feeding the caster last time I found there was no real difference in stamp fishing caster to maggot It's just easier than having to change it constantly with having a smash caster. That's another one. This wind is absolutely horrendous. Always seems to be bad on this river. It's blasting and <laughs> although it's an upstreamer, it's a downstreamer right now because of the way the flow's going. But fishing off the end of the rod should be good enough just to present the bait nicely enough. I can see quite a few poles out, I can see Norman to my left is on the pole and if he's not catching I'll stick on this stick float for now. If it starts getting any good quality I'll maybe have a look on it but the way the wind is right now I think I'm better off sticking inside while well, we're getting bites that's what we'll continue to do. Oh lovely, nice fish a bit further down. Flow's pulling quite hard and the fish seem to have dropped down a little bit at the moment. Just having to run through, picking them up quite a few yards downstream. That's not a bad stamp roach that one. Tiny fish. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> is there anything better than stick float fishing when it's like this? That's a rud. That's a lovely roach. It's the sort of stamp you want to be getting, and bigger. Nice fish. We set sail into the moon. Tell tall tales to the moon. stamp of these fish is a bit small at the minute but just take anything I can get at the moment the wind settles down I'm gonna have a look on that pole shortly see if there's any better quality over that ground bait and caster but it is absolutely wild out here So we're 35 minutes in and 20 fish to the good on the stick. I'm just going to have a look over this pole line, see if there's any better quality roach set out there. I'm going to try the 3 gram rig first. I might need to pick up the uh, flat float. 
just see how we go with this. Oh. Shipping out and I've caught a fish. That's ridiculous. Perch. Oh. Bit of a nightmare with this bridge. Just keep a bit of bit going in on the inside. See if this is fishable. It's pulling really, really hard. Tide is coming in significantly. Oh, we've got a fish on it. Question is, is it any better than what we're catching on the inside? And the answer is no. may not be worth it right now. Try the five grammar. Sit and hold in, hold in position a bit easier. And I'll bait down the inside. Keep it going in. down oh, I'm not sure that's fishable when the wind's coming through like that but anyway we'll try so five gram flat float just going to try and hold where I think the ground bait will have washed her with the floor it's holding nicely is that if I can hang on to the pole <laughs> yeah it's a bit of a challenge with this serious wind that's on that's quite unusual I managed to hold that rig in position but I'm not picking anything up there I'm just going to lay back in See if I can hang on to this. And that's it, finally a bite, but it's slow. So a definite bite there on the flat float, shelled the caster. I don't think it's worth fishing right now. I think we'll just stick with the stick float on the inside. It's hard work with the wind. If the wind drops down, the toe eases off, it might be worth it. I see Norman's getting the odd fish on the pull.
That's a better roach. Not massive, but better. Them's the sort of stamp we want. This is a better fish. Could be a perch. Could be a big perch this. certainly is. Up you come. Here mate. A nice bonus stripey. There's another nice fish. Whoa. Where are you going? Oh, that's a proper roach. Proper roach. They're what we want. This really is lovely, lovely fishing. Stamps picked up a bit. 
flows just easing off a touch. Tide starting to peak, probably about another hour until it turns around. At that point, the whip might come into play. If I can catch in the slower water while it's turning around. Definitely eased off. Quality fish on the stick there. Took it quite close in as well. Feels like a roach. Good one though, I'm guessing. Yeah, nice fish. Proper one. Proper fish. They're what you want. And that actually felt a red maggot. There really don't seem to be much point doing anything else than fishing the stick right now. Catching so well on it. That's another one. That's another perch. Water is so clear. See these fish well underneath the surface. Just held the float back a little bit there. Boom, fish on. It's another perch though. So, switching to red maggot might have brought me a few perch, but I won't say no to them because they're uh, good weight builders, especially if you get a couple of big bonus ones. Ah, that fish was quite high up the run. It's starting to slow off. I'm starting to think about getting the whip.
Right, now's the time. Seems to be a lot of fish sat right under the rod tip now. This wind is chaotic. It's causing me some issues with blowing the line off the spool. I'm managing to control it because I'm fishing so close. Anyway, four metre whip. So I've got DH23, uh, 0.4 gram float on. We've just got basically number nine strung out in the lower half of the rig. So it should get down okay, but it's still got a nice fall on it. And if I can catch these fish short and fast, could make all the difference. Let's see. See if it's time yet. Don't have a long run with this. We're only fishing four metres, so. Well, that's a fish straight away. And another. Yes. Beautiful fish that one. Lovely roach. And another. Ooh, the wind's so hard it's blowing the fish back. <laughs> Timing is everything. We can catch fast now. Could make all the difference at the end of the match. Motoring. Looks like I've just nailed another perch. I seem to be sat in that slow water on the inside. They're well worth catching. This has really slowed down on the river now. Oh, proper bite, <laughs> proper fish. Feels like another perch. It's absolutely smashing that whip over. You've only got four metres to hand. You ain't really got a lot of places to go. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. We'll have him. 
What a beauty. Yeah, he's a chunk. That is another good fish. Picking up a few chunky perch. Right guys, I'm over 50 fish to the good now, so I'm going to stop talking, cue the music, let's have a montage. Chunk of a roach.
Right guys, that's my one hundredth fish. So I'm gonna knock the cameras off for a bit because there's only so many of these you can watch me catch. If anything changes, I'll let you know. If not, I'll see you at the weigh-in. Right then guys, we're about 45 minutes out from the end now. And uh, I've had 160 fish. I took 110 on the whip. And I've gone back on the stick now because the flow was just getting a little bit too much. I was holding back and easing the float through with the whip. But I was just starting to slow off on the bite. So I've gone back on the stick and I've started picking up fish again. Some better ones, a lot of small ones. I've had some lovely perch out, a couple of big clonking roach. Um, most of them are probably about two ounce a piece, a lot of ounces. So yeah, I wouldn't like to say what kind of weight I've got right now. But the fish just keep coming. Lovely. Just held the float back a little bit. Let it on its way and it buried. That's another nice roach. Plump little fish. Can't fault them, can you? Haven't had the need for the long pole at all. And to be quite honest, the way the wind's been, it's been pretty much unfishable. So many fish down the inside. We're into another. I don't know whether this will be enough to do anything whether it's enough for this section I don't know peg 5 is the favoured one on here this is peg 3 today and we've also got 6 pegs further down in the shipyard and some of those are absolute flyers right next to the bridge so you never know if we don't get the zone, if we don't qualify we might get the mini section. And if I don't, I don't really know what else I could have done because I have caught fish all day long. as you can see nice quality fish down the run Another beauty.
Well, the conditions are getting even more challenging now. The wind's getting worse and worse. It's actually getting cold. And uh, the light is starting to fade. There's seven minutes to go. That's my 180th fish. That's a quality roach. Taken down the inside. No real time to hold him up for the camera for you. We're about done. Last time guys. Right, we'll get wrapped up. See how we've done. Right John. Are we ready? <laughs> That's ambitious. <laughs> What's there to be? Up right there, up there. Six up there. Kilo to the side of you. Have you enjoyed it? I have. That's good. Yep. This used to be the intake. Did it? Yeah, then a few years ago it didn't change. And it went down to that. I've got more than I thought. <laughs> I've got more than I thought. I have. 185 fish. 185 fish. Yep. Yeah. He caught them fairly short. Yeah. He must have done. Yeah, more short. Yeah, good. Is there out over 10 ounces in there, Joe? No, I wouldn't have said so. John, what are you doing? They're spilling out, mate. Oh, heck. I'll get them. We can't afford that. No, we can't. Six, seven, eight, ten. Ten kilos, 400 dead. Oh, Can we have a photo? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What does? Well, really good job we said, because you others do. Um, yeah, put some, yeah, some, some in there. Yeah. Let's have a look. Good job you said, mate. So there's still 15. Yeah, take some out, John, please. Put half the net first. Try that. Yeah. Once. Now oh, we're all right now. Eight kilos, 400. Eight five. Eight kilos, 500. I need to keep them because I want a photo. Yeah. Have you got another kick landing there? Yeah. I have. Hang 
I don't know if we're all going there. <laughs> you can try. Hang on. <laughs> Out the light. Oh boy. Two kilos and fifty. Which gives you what, ten? Well they had there then, twenty pounds. Twenty twenty yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, twenty two yeah. pounds. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> that, that's a nice day's fishing. I've done a picture and I'm having another one. <laughs> I'll get down. Yeah. Thank you. Look. Come on, mate. There you go. Oh, get out together there. Ten five. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers, lads. Thank you, mate. Well, I nearly missed the presentation there, guys. The boys were packing up. Um, yeah, well, needless to say, get in there, I have qualified, I can't believe it, made up. 10 kilo, 550 I've weighed, and it's been enough on the day. I was so nervous because the pegs down here at the Riverside Cafe, the fish really, really well most of the time, um, but they haven't produced the goods today, and I think the next best weight was 9 kilo, 200. So yeah, all said and done, I think I've put just over 23 pound on the scales in new money, or old money shall I say. So 10 kilo 550, work it out for yourselves, but I think by my reckoning 23 pound 4 ounce somewhere or there or thereabouts. Anyway, what this means is I don't have to go on the last two qualifiers, so I don't have to go back on the Calder, um, I don't have to go to Linton, thankfully, and I can go and fish the Bandits match. So happy days. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, once again thanks for watching and uh, until the next one, tight lines.